Hello everyone, today we'll be trying to get three wins with the Explosher. Of course we're in spot zones because that's pretty much the best mode for this weapon since it does put down a lot of paint. We'll be having to go after an E-Leader right off the bat. Which thankfully we can play under cover and stuff and still deal damage and do all the paint that we need to do. So for right now, I think that's what we want to do. We want to just stay out of the sea later, sight lines, and paint the zone. Pretty much. We want to paint a little bit forward too, if we can. And we have our ink storm just to support and be a supportive special. And we also support with damage, kind of like a blaster. For right now, we're holding control, which is good. Just gonna hide under this ledge here. Did get a little bit too close to the paintbrush. We will lose control off of that. I was trying to be a little greedy and go after that E-Leader. We should be fine though. We're gonna move in. I'm not too worried about the E-Leader considering the fact that, um, well, I mean, we do just immediately get out of the bucket, but I'm not too worried about it because I did miss quite a few shots at the beginning of the round where I probably should have died. So it seems like they're not very prone to hitting that many shots. All right, so their E-Leader traded. I've got it back up here. Unfortunately, I'm being drove back or driven back, so I'm gonna have to slowly move in because I can't really do too much on my own pushing forward. Just gonna go over here, try and contest the zone. Cover that E-Leader's escape route. And just stay alive, don't die to it. Alright, E-Leader's over there. I'm gonna go ahead and pressure under this ledge here. Or not over under this ledge, but over that cover. I'm trying to figure out where this E-Leader's at. Just pressure him. Also have to pay attention to the zone. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a um, point sensor over there just to mark it. There we go. He's damaged. Alright, I'm out of ink right now. There we go. He should be dead. Throw this down. Not die, not die. Just back up. Good. Alright, now I can go back to contesting zone again. We're in control. E-Leader has to move back in. Take him out with either Ink Storm or something else. Alright, just slowly move. Don't die to the E-Leader. Try not to die in the zone. Because if we died in the zone, it would have stalled the zone there. But we did get a quick and easy first win. All right, getting on into game number two, we have double explosion and a range blaster, so lots of AOE damage going out. We have a Nova for paint, so that'll be fine, though we'll have plenty of paint from our explosions. Don't have to fight any chargers, which is also good. We can kind of just zone them out. So for right now, that's what we're gonna do. Just paint over where they are at. Try and support with chip damage, there we go. Throw out our ink storm whenever we're ready. And just try and capture zone. Gonna back up, because there's someone over there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a point sensor down. All right, we got him marked. There we go, he's trapped, he has to move. And he died. All right, here comes Kraken. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint over the Kraken. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was a little weird, just a little weird. Uh, the right, we'll jump back in. I do not have stealth jump since I'm a backline. I'm not gonna be jumping in as often because I should be trying to not die. Go ahead and throw that point sensor down. Try and get anyone marked. We're at 30 on the timer. I'm gonna leave my shots to where I think they're gonna go instead of where they're at because tr shot travels pretty slowly. They can put down a lot of paint, but again, it's not the fastest. Got our ink storm, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it down. And this is pretty much how it's plus your place. You just lock out the zone. Throw your um, ink storm whenever you have it. Let's get away from this guy and we win. All right, getting on into game number three. We have an Explosher as ourselves, an Inzap, Splatbrella, and an E-Leader. So we'll have plenty of backline presence. Uh, might be lacking a little offensive presence though. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and support anyone who's over attacking. Blast over there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my Ink Storm down and I took someone out, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. Just gonna blast my Expulsor shot over there. Okay, there might be a little bit of lag. Might be a little bit of lag. <laughs> it's fine though. We're in control, so we're getting points. 
Not gonna jump in. Um, the spot where I can have some effect on the match is close enough where I don't have to immediately jump. Alright, you're dead. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move a little bit forward since two of their team are, or two of their teams are down. Teammates, let me say that. Alright, good. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread paint into their uh, middle part here, or their base actually. Saw a shot go off. Just gonna stand back. Alright, you're heavily damaged, you're dead. Just paint down there. I'm very close to an ink storm, which I should get very soon. Go ahead and recover ink here. Alright, good job. Ends up pretty much taking them all out. And he's dead. I'll just go ahead and throw a celebratory ink storm and we win. All right, as per usual, whenever we get three wins, no losses, we'll go for a fourth game. Now, right off the bat, we have a decent team comp. Have plenty of paint, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock up this left side. And I guess I'll take these guys since we're not defending it. There we go, good. Try and just leave my shots over there. Help out. Okay, there we go. Get control here. Paint over this jump landing. Get the guy throwing the missiles. Okay, he's dead. Got like two assists and a splat there, so that's pretty good. You're heavily damaged. You have to back up, so you die. Can actually angle this so I can hit the shot and the, um, or the direct shot and the splash shot on the wall behind him. Didn't, nothing came of it, but still. I think that's still pretty good. Our friends are cleaning up, so I'm actually moving forward again. This guy has to move back. He's going to move forward on here, though. So we're just going to zone him out. He's just using his tap shots, which isn't going to get him anywhere, really. All right, take you out. Take him out. Got an assist there. Got 20 seconds, at least on the clock. Different than real world seconds. Take you out. And we just lock these guys out, and we'll be fine to win. Even if I die there. They don't have enough time to get to the zone, and we knock it out. All right, so there we go. There's three wins with the Explosher. Definitely a powerful weapon, especially, like I said, in splat zones, where you can use that paint to your advantage, and you're going to be picking up lots of kills and assists, especially if you're playing your range. It's just because it's very good at chip damage, and also if you get into Rex, that's like whole 90 damage you're dealing to people. It also traps people and makes them easier to take out. Just very good all-around weapon for backlining and, and, and such. Um, as for skills, I have inks ever made here just to make the ink consumption sting a little bit less. We have some subs here. The only one that's really useful here is quick super jump. It's just what the game gave to me randomly while I was leveling it up. As for the shirt, we have special charge. Definitely going to help get more ink storms and very important. Ink recovery, so our downtime is a little bit less. We got swim speed because I don't use stealth jump generally on weapons that I don't want to backline or that I do want to backline with. There are some exceptions and this isn't a bad one to have stealth jump with since you are somewhat mobile, especially compared to something like an e-leader, but swim speed really helps with movement. You also have um, ink resistance, just two subs. You could probably drop one sub, but I like the two just because again, that's what the game gave to me. It is helpful in just moving around enemy ink. And you also have one sub of bomb defense, not intentional, but it does help just from random, you know, being poked and stuff like that from enemies. Either way, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please consider leaving a comment below and consider subscribing if you enjoyed. Until next time, bye.